Okay. Enough. 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 Wow. Wow. Hello. Beautiful day today. Yes, it is. And you're not in the video. I'm trying to open a package of gum. Well, we don't need you to do one video. Well, it makes my breath better. Okay. All right. You're going to have to deal with well, the non gum breath consequences. Breath. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a great day. So it's beautiful. And um, the, we talked about the topic we were going to do today mm -hmm. while we were walking. Um, we actually did a long walk today. It was like three mile walk. That was kind of a wild, a wild ride. Fences. <laughs> <laughs> wild and crazy. We got Had wild a dog and crazy. Five month old. We were off the hook. <laughs> yeah, our five month old loved it. Loved every minute of it. And so he was happy, <laughs> and we were happy. And now he's he fell asleep when he got home. That was so. a crazy wild ride, babe. <laughs> But it was crazy because um, when we talked yesterday about temptation, I think, like I said before, every time we have a discussion or a devotion, another topic comes out of that. And so the topic today was on commitment. And um, so it was really cool because we got to kind of ask each other questions on the walk and meditate on it a little bit. <clears throat> so That's good. Yeah. And then he made fun of me um, while we were walking. Because, I didn't find the wire, by the way. I know you guys were wondering. Yeah, he was still digging for the wire this morning. So, while we were on a walk, he said doing a long walk will be perfect because it will take that long for me to um, explain to you for him to things I wanted to, to tell you. Because <laughs> if I make if I say one sentence, she's got three follow up questions that most of the time aren't related at all. So we had some good. Uh, poke in front of each other and laughing on the walk, I think, today. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was great. It was a good day for it. And what else do we do? We didn't do a lot, but we're getting some fencing done, so. Yay. We watched other people do stuff. <laughs> yeah, That's it was really better. cool. So um, yesterday, guys, I wanted to um, throw out another tip or idea during this quarantine is if you're out and... <laughs> Lincoln's watching Animal Planet again. Buddy, give me your remote. We find him turning on the TV in the middle of the night. So kind of weird. So, um, lost my train of thought. Talking about commitment. Yep. And, um. What was the commitment? Oh, you know what's funny? Tiff wanted to do something about commitment. You need to scoot into the bed. Honey, you get, you scoot, you scoot. I am in you it, move. you're not. Oh, oh okay. You said Tiff before we were getting a lot to... of hate mail because they weren't seeing you. That's true. Um, Tiff wanted to talk about commitment, and everything she looked up was about infidelity. <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> yeah. If you look up commitment in the Bible, uh -huh. it's all, no, it was adultery. They didn't call it infidelity. They called it adultery. So, yeah, there's maybe like two or three verses on just regular commitment. So, while we were on a walk today... We talked about, we thought, the top four can think to, that we all commit to. What are the top four subjects? Um, one would be like... Family. Higher being, you know, like if there's God, God. in your life, it would be God. Um, family, health, and jobs. Work. Work, yeah. And health. Family, health, and work. Yep. So those are the top four things that we came up with on our walk where... People would feel like they were committed to doing something. And typically, typically, how many times I say typically? I think I said that a lot. Kind of like my um, anyways. Anyway, uh, people will commit to doing something that's good for them. Like you don't mm -hmm. commit to like yeah. drinking more. You know, I, I think I need to start smoking a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I need to pick that up. Well, and we talked about that being a temptation. So, a temptation. Maybe something's not healthy for you and you're tempted to continue doing those behaviors or those actions that may not be healthy for you. That kind of thing. So like if your commitment is health, that your temptation, that may be a temp Oh, now there's a subject. Temptation and commitment. They can um, clash. Right? Or are you too focused on chewing your airhead gum? 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> this is what happens when I have it's watermelon. I don't even like watermelon, but this is good. <laughs> and you just had to do it while we we're doing this devotion. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you say like commitment and um, temptation can kind of clash because you can be tempted, easily tempted if you have a commitment to something. So like for mm -hmm. instance, your health, if I you're committed you're to dieting and being healthy or being active, being more active and healthy, but then you're tempted to sit on the couch or you're tempted to eat potato chips. I don't know. That sounds way better. That kind of, you know, kind of, they kind of can be two uh, negatives. Sure. Yeah. Right. So, so, um, so yeah, so we have, um, uh, commitment. <laughs> He's so focused on this airhead gum. You know, it's funny. Tiff this morning was talking about committing to things like committing to reading the Bible more. Yes. Just really studying it. Just mm -hmm. taking it, digesting it, you know. Kind of like schoolwork. Really doing the research. And me, I was on the computer. I was like, yeah, babe. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Just really digest. That's what you need to do. That's, what, that's totally what you need to do. So what you do <laughs> is email. you go out on a walk. And you don't have technology with you. Mm -hmm. And you're not distracted. That's the whole point of a walk. Yeah. You did so. good, though. Not using your cell phone as much. <laughs> I did. I did very good. I put it in the little pouch, and I was good to go. Okay, we're the so Deuteronomy. We're doing Deuteronomy. Shout out to 30. the Jewish friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 30. Verse 19 through 20, um, it hits on commitment. So, Hit it, babe. today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you choose the life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make this choice by loving your, the Lord, your God, obeying him and committing yourself firmly to him. This is the key to your life, and if you love and obey the Lord, you will live long in the land of the Lord's door to give to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's a long two verses. Yeah. That was good. 19 and 20. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool because, and then, you know, when, we were, when I was studying it a little bit more, um, I was finding out, like, this is the key. So, he is the key to your life, basically. And... And below it, it says in my Bible, in its most meaningful sense, life consists of absolute commitment to the Lord. And so he promised you a future and promises you internal life, eternal life. Um, it's hard to make a commitment, any type of commitment. I'm a yeah. commitment phobe. That's why we didn't get married till later. Yeah, me but too. But just for like committing to one thing, whether it's, you know, figuring out what you want to eat at a restaurant Mm -hmm. Or if it's like committing your life uh, yeah. to following God, that's that's a tough commitment because yeah. I guess the biggest thing is is we want to have control in our life and we don't mm -hmm. want to give that control up. We don't want to commit to someone else uh, saying, okay, your will be done and, and not knowing what that is. You yeah, know? that is super hard. And, it's all, and that's why we always talk about faith and hope and all that because that is what gives you the strength you need to believe that you know, that future is going to be okay or tomorrow is going to be okay. Worry about right now. Be present right now. Mm -hmm. And we had even brought, right. he always prays about, you know, being thankful for being in our country because we can commit to God and have a spiritual life without being persecuted. Well, I wouldn't say without. I would just say with minimal persecution. But when you're in another country, like our friends that are missionaries overseas, and they talk about stories when they go talk to other people about, you know, doing their devotion, they can't do it out in the open. They can't do it out in the public. In fact, they have to do it secretly with that person because if that person's in a family where they're totally against religion or spirituality or God or anything, Christianity, yeah. Christianity in general, <clears throat> they could get killed or they would be rejected and they'd be thrown out. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that we can do this in our own country, I think is such a huge bless blessing. And we don't have to be secretive about it. Yeah, and you know? so every time Andrew talks about that, I just think, oh my gosh, that's just, you know, you don't think about things like that. <laughs> but like he, you were going over this whole point while I was doing, yeah, babe, whatever, yeah. you just do you, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, I, I pray about that every time. I don't know if you've been listening, but yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it all came up whenever we were going over our study for our small group tonight. And, um, and it talks about how, like in the Bible, it talks about how, um, I think, you know, they use the word hate, but hate means reject in the Bible in some parts. And basically God is saying, you know, if you were to be up against your family versus Jesus, you know, who do you choose or who do you follow? So basically it's saying, you know, you, you do have to do some sacrificing and, you know, you love your family. Yes. But you also have to, you know, put that aside and follow Jesus. Commit. Yeah. Um, so Jesus is number one in your life, basically, mm -hmm. is what they're saying in the Bible. Thank you. You ready for prayer? Yes. You are driving me crazy with the scum. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Who else has this pet peeve? By the way, Tiff cannot hear a dump <laughs> truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. But if someone's smacking their gum from three states away, <laughs> it drives her crazy. <laughs> no, it's not just chewing gum, but it's like chomping on food or carrots or chips. <laughs> You know what? Next time I want to get your attention, I'm just going to pop in some gum. I could be yelling straight or in your you face. Or you can do the elbow, like, or you can you. do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so seriously. And we're going to say a prayer for um, um, those today that are struggling with commitment or following Jesus. Or maybe you don't know where to start with this eternal life that he has promised us. Um, so we'll pray for you. Do it. All right. You want me to pray? All right, Jesus' name, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful, glorious day that you've given to us, and thank you for the love that you have poured over us and all the many blessings that we may not even see that you have provided for us into our life. Thank you for guiding us and bringing us peace when we need it most, and um, please forgive us from all the sin that um, we have committed or we have done against you and anything wrong that we have done that may hinder us from following you, please forgive us. And we just ask that for those that are lost right now and struggling on finding you or finding time to commit to you, we just ask that you would help us to um, feel more of your peace and slow down so that we can feel you and see you and breathe in the life that you provided for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Did I detect a belch whenever you first started? I don't think so, but yeah. I did hear some like chomping while I was praying. Nope. No chomping. I heard uh, in the middle of a sentence, one of these. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> no, I got stuck on my words. I was, mm -hmm. I got stuck in between the words. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, right, I beginning. said commitment and I was trying to say something else. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. All right. I may make it tomorrow <laughs> or not. See you later. Bye. <laughs>